national tax entry into international tax now on a very very broad level there are two ways to enter the field of international tax i'll describe i'll discuss both these both these ways with you the first one the first one is by doing a post graduate degree which is known as master of laws master of laws in international taxation and the second one would be a d i t advanced diploma in international taxation we'll discuss this second option later on because this is the scope of work of international tax academy but let's just first of all focus on master of laws llm international tax the pros and the cons pros and the cons of this option llm master of laws full fledged degree it's a post graduate degree so the first first advantage is that it's a degree it's a pg degree it's a graduate degree i mean in us and uk they say graduate degree but then it's a post graduate degree fine so it's a degree it's a degree this is the biggest advantage second advantage is that those of you who want to enter into academia remember i told you one of the career options available to the international tax professional is that they can move into an they can move into an academic position they can move into academia so for those of you who want to move into academia in universities abroad so they will have to do an llm they will have to do an llm and then they can go on to further do a doctoral uh, program a phd and then with doctor attached to their name they can move into academia into any university which offers law courses so this so this becomes an essential way to complete your uh, credentials uh, if you want to move into the academic field academia fine so compulsory for academia the third advantage uh, i can because i have done my llm national tax so i can yeah the third advantage would be that doing an llm from universities abroad and there are number of universities us us you have nyu new york university then you have florida i'll tell you about them uh, but then uh, one of the biggest advantage would be the experience itself i mean spending one year 10 months or 11 months or so in a, a university setting in a collegial environment us eu uk even australia that is an experience itself because your class would be comprised of candidates from all over the world i mean my class had candidates from 23 nationalities so in that that experience is unparalleled that's a very very good experience you get to share ideas with your uh, with your peers with your colleagues then you understand what is their what is their perspective the debating etc that is being done in the classroom so that that makes it a very very enriching experience so that experience itself is very very it's worthwhile fine so the experience so these are the three pros experience itself so these are the three advantages of this llm fine now the cons the disadvantages the biggest advantage or the negative is that it's hugely expensive and mind you when i say it's hugely expensive i'll just put some numbers because it's always easier to understand numbers i was just now going through the llm program the fee structure of two of the most reputed llm international tax programs in the world uh, one of them is offered by nyu that is new york university remember i told you number of universities in the us uk eu even australia offer llm international tax program so let me name some of these universities for you in the us you have nyu that is new york university then you have university of florida then you have university of georgetown then you have university of virginia then you have uh, then you have uh, university of michigan i mean these are the universities which i am aware of i am sure there would be other universities as well nyu is definitely the most prestigious university which is offering the llm international tax program but then the tuition and the living some not not exactly living but yes tuition and the expenses i was going through their website so it was 100000 100000 not rupees dollars 100000 dollars so 1 dollar is what 80 so 
in the vicinity of 80 lakhs for India. 80 lakhs. And you can safely move over to see, you can safely add 20 lakhs to it. So if you are looking at doing LLM from NYU, 1 CR approximately, 1 CR. University of Amsterdam, University of Amsterdam, their program is also in the EU. You have University of Amsterdam, you have Maastricht, Tilburg, Leiden offers EU law. Then you have University of Vienna, then you have, uh, then, okay, some German, German University, UK, you have Queensbury University, you know, um, King's College London, then you have uh, London School of Economics in the, in the UK, in Australia, you have University of uh, Melbourne. So if you talk about UVA, that is Univers University Van Amsterdam, University of Amsterdam, their LM program was 21,000 euros, 21k euros plus living expenses, etc. So if you work around, so this would be minimum would be 30 to 35 lakh. So one CR top bracket and then minimum would be 30 35 lakh. And if you are working, then you add because you have to take a you'll have to take a break. So the second disadvantage would be if you have to take a break, if you are already working, if you're not working, then it's fine. But if you are working, then you have to take a break of one year from your work and then you add one year of opportunity cost, one year of opportunity cost. So, I mean, in any case, the minimum expenses on your pocket would be 30, 35 lakhs or 40 lakhs at least. So 40 lakhs. So this is for Indians, for, for us, for me, for you, for uh, all of us, this is very expensive. So this is the biggest con. This is this is the biggest disadvantage of doing LLM that it's hugely expensive. Fine, you can check check these numbers for yourself. But then yes, I've done my research. So the first disadvantage is that it's hugely expensive. Secondly, you have to take a break. This these programs are full time programs. You have to take a break of one year, move away from your home, take break one year, take break of one year. And then one disadvantage could one more disadvantage could be that because these are academic programs, these are academic programs, uh, and the structures of each program is different, the syllabus is different. So there might be, I'm not saying because I've not seen the program structures, I'm not commenting about, about any university's specific program, then but then there might be a case then that you might find a disconnect between the theoretical principles which are being taught in the classroom and the concepts and the practice that is disconnect between the theoretical principles which are being taught in the classroom and then the actual practice which is seen in the in the field when you go on to practice your international tax i mean this is possible i'm not saying this would definitely be the case but that then but then this might happen okay with a pinch of salt this might happen this might be the case so these are the pros and the cons of doing an LM. Fine. But yes, academia, academia, you will have to go through this route. Fine. Okay.